Before this video begins, I'd like to give a huge thanks to my channel members, who you can see on screen now. Become a member by hitting the join button and get your name here among other awards today. Hello there and welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport 3. Today we're continuing on Let's Play. This is episode 105. In today's episode, we are taking a look at the K&N 700 horsepower runoff, the final of the horsepower runoffs. For that, we need a car. And oh boy, things are about to get interesting as we take a look at the Sparta Venture oh, Sport no. Coda Tronica TS. Oh, oh no. AKA the ugliest car in this game, and I'm buying it in brown. I'm afraid, because I have no idea what this is. It's, oh, it's not that ugly. Oh, yeah, it is. Look it's at it. It's basically a Corvette. Look at it. Given a, re given a makeover. I'm not... I'm not saying it's pretty, but it, I don't you hate it. Seen, you, you haven't, haven't seen, seen the perfect quote for this. There's a qu perfect quote for this car. You want to know what it is? Shit. <clears throat> this My eyes. The car goes to nothing. Oh. Anyways, the K&N 700 horsepower oh. challenge. K&N filters host this car, this race for cars That's with quite cool. 700 horsepower. No, it's not. Road America Full Circuit is the first course. Also, by it's the way, cool. no, it's not. And by the way, just as a quick thing, underneath it's a Corvette ZR1. So, it's also Spanish. So it's a Corvette that is... that one with more power. That that rear end is uglier. That that rear end is uglier than the Pajani Riptide. It is fucking fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> it looks like the Batmobile, and that's why I like it. It's hideous. It is the most hideous car ever made. It's fantastic. It truly is an abomination. Uh... Look, we need balanced views here. We're going to be like the BBC. So. I want to bleach my eyes. I agree. <laughs> also, the interior is not very nice as well, as you're about to see. It goes with OZ wheels as standard, which I guess is something. Oh, there's a McLaren. Wait, you call them car. OZ? Yeah. I've always called them Oz. I mean, they could be Oz. I've never realised. Yeah, it probably is pronounced. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, hey, cold digital display. Yeah. But yes. I quite like that. It's a Sexy car. car. It really is not. I like it. It's... Look at it. It's got four rear windows. <laughs> yeah, they... You can see four times as good. Like... <laughs> I guess it's a shooting brake. Like, it's just... An atrocious looking thing. I wouldn't really call those rear windows, you're gonna need to see to like sort of yeah, diagonally they, they completely and... ignore the whole point of a rear window because they don't actually look out of the back at all. They just look to the sides and If anything, if you just hide a body in the back, they're gonna see it, aren't they? Yeah. Like So basically what you're saying is this is the perfect car for the Albanian mafia. Yes! <laughs> no, it's the opposite of the best car, because you can see the body. Also, I think it's got a roll cage in it. Oh my god, Dr. Mew has uploaded the yes, Deepu SVX video. The what? Deepu SVX. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Sorry, That's I thought you were going to say he's uploaded a video on the Sparta Contravonia. I was about to say. Uh, <laughs> or whatever it's called, the con I, Codatronica? Or the, what I wouldn't be surprised in? if he has. It's a Sparta Contra something. It's a core. You said it perfectly the first time. What the Sparta? Oh no, wait, string play. Yeah. yeah, because that's I could it. actually see its name the first time around. Yeah, string string play. I thought you were being like really, re really, really prepared. Really prepared. No, it's I can't remember its actual. It's like the Sparta Venture Sport Cotathronica TS. Hello, no, this is Spongebob. <laughs> that looks awesome. It, it looks like something. <laughs> it, I like it. it. I mean, it's different, I'll give it that. Mm. The thing actually, is, I quite like angles, so... The yeah. worst bit is, it actually yeah. drives quite nice. Well, I mean, it does look like a fully spec'd out race car inside, so... I'd like some... I'm trying to remember... I, I think like... I actually did some research on this. I think they did actually sell this in the end. Like, it was an actual real car. It looks like one of Boost's automation cars. 
off. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't look angry enough. God, can you imagine if they made this an automation car? Oh, no. I mean, I I reckon you could do something similar. Because you've got like that Celine S5 Raptor body, which I think you could do something similar with. It's what automation really needs, isn't it? The ability to like position the windows. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can kind of do that. I mean, yeah, I guess you could kind of make this car, because isn't there like a Corvette-style body with a shooting brake or something? Yeah. Actually, speaking of the Corvette body, you know the C4 body? Mm. One, uh, one of the modders is working on a shooting brake version of that. Ooh, interesting. So that's going to be cool. It's better looking than the Impreza hatchback. Well, yeah. <laughs> Wrong. Can't really argue Wrong. with that. Impreza hatchback is best looking Impreza. No, it isn't. It's a shit. Yes, it is. Abomination. I'm gonna ban you. Agree with that, but it's actually kind of You know, Larry. But, but who's, who's Larry? It's better looking than the Hawkeye. Better looking than the Hawkeye. What engine does it have? It's a. Uh... Well, it's what called was the that, ZL1? So... Seven litre V8 supercharged. What year is this? This is a 2010. And it was based Probably off the C6. It. Uh, probably the supercharged LS thing. How much power does it Looking make? Looking it up now. C6 Corvette, um, ZR1, um, well actually wait, this has got over 700 horsepower, oh wait, no, within. No, it hasn't, it? it's actually got 620. I think this might actually be a modified Corvette engine. I don't know if it is a ZR1 actually. Uh, the ZR1 was 638. Yeah, it doesn't make any boost either. I wonder if it is just a... It might be like a Z06 engine. Even the MG3 looks yeah. better. <laughs> if it's nah. not making any boots, then it's got to be the Z06. Yeah, just a modified. So I don't even remember the ZR1 having a supercharger bolted onto it. Hmm. Like I said, the worst bit is it's actually quite a nice driving car. I assume it's got massive tyres and potentially it could have those tyres. I mean. It's just the most hideous abomination in the world. Like that front end is just tragic, and the rear mm -hmm. end is tragic, and it's all just tragic. I like the front. It looks like the rear is an acquired taste. It looks like someone described a Ferrari H1 super fast over the phone, because <laughs> it has like those weird front intakes as well. Okay, how much power does this make? Six twenty. I think there's a Wikipedia page on this car. So. Yeah. yeah, I remember when Forza had loads of these weird cars because they had like this Sparta, there was the Devon GTX, which was basically a Viper, and they also had the Bertoni Mantide, which I think that was also a Corvette. <laughs> Why is there no wing? Actually, we should have checked if there was a Forza Hero for this thing. Oh god, could you imagine it? Yeah. I want to check the Forza Hero now, actually, to be honest with you. I really want it to be like a full-on T-wing or something, just like off either side. Yeah, because it's gonna. Well, the problem is, that if there's a rear wing for this, it's gonna have to clear the R somehow. I mean, <laughs> hatchback wing. Unless, of course, it's like a it genuinely made plastic muscle car wing. Unless they literally just, just like you know, stick please. the wing halfway up the roof. Like they do on like the Fox RS and um, the Citroen Z4 has the same thing. The Citroen C4 in this game they actually mount the wing like behind the rear hatch. So it's like halfway Amazing. up the roof, which is weird. But yeah, this is an atrocious looking car. Yeah. I will say the car after this also doesn't look particularly great, so be prepared. Is it the Bertoni Mantide? <clears throat> no, it's not the Mantide. That's still a great name for a car. Mantide. What do you drive, Mantide? <laughs> so what happens when I'd have one. Car while drunk, yeah. You'd have a Mantide. Yeah, probably. I vaguely remember it. It's like... It's like what Jeremy Clarkson said about the design of the MSO Polonaise. Mm -hmm. Only assuming that here, he was experimenting with the idea of trying to design a car after consuming four liters of absinthe. 
<laughs> the worst Why does the back of the Mantide look like the front of an Evo 10? I've got no idea. The worst bit is the Polonaise doesn't even look that bad. It really doesn't. The Polonaise just sort of looks like a Lancia Delta got stretched. Also, the best bit about just... also the Polonaise was supposed to have a Group B version, which is great. It looks I think like... they literally put two engines in it because they were like, "How do we make power?" Oh, they say that did something similar. Yeah, they had the oh, fucking that... Ibiza, didn't they? That they made <laughs> Ibiza. Yes. The we're going to Ibiza. The Polonaise to me looks like a fucking a cheap Scirocco. Yeah, it does kind of have. I think it was designed by. Um... I think Shijara. it was actually designed by um, Shijara. Yeah. Like it... Designed by Shizaro that made the Sirocco, so I wouldn't. I think Shizaro did the Delta as well. Also. Wasn't Shizaro responsible for the Golf as well? And the M1, actually. I don't know, wasn't the BMW M1 Italian? I don't remember. Go see the wings for this car, that's the plan that I'm in. I want to. I'm, I'm, I'm very curious. The front end is trash. Can't deal with that front end. Also, we get a 10% discount on clutch upgrades by Sparta and a 10% discount on transmission upgrades by Sparta. Well, thanks, Ooh. Sparta. You right. better make use of that discount now. Yeah, because Sparta clearly have a wide range of cars. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, there You're is. You're gonna be also. using that throughout the let's play. Oh god. Oh my god, that fucking right wing. Oh, that's how. Oh, they, here we go. That 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 that's how that, that that's how they mount it. Prepare for the delay. Wait. Here Jesus we go. Christ. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Wow. You need this. You Put need it, it. No, because it makes the car look better. <laughs> I'm not, I just think it's ridiculous and I love it. It is that. fantastic. I love how it doesn't really also, clear the a... rear hatch as well. It's sort of like. It's fantastic. Also, I just had a profit literally just um, go blind on me. Nice. Literally, he just hit me with the 10 pest. I just went round the fucking corner and it's like, oh, he must be dead. Oh, don't. You should have seen the fucking profit I had to deal with yesterday. He literally launched a secret drone at me and then just stared at me for like eight minutes. <laughs> then I think I ended up like taking his head off with like a random bullet from my thing. What a boring wing. I mean, it could have been more interesting, but yeah, that is a... Uh... Yeah, I mean, they could have just uh, mounted it on top of the middle bit. Yeah. That's what I was kind of expecting, to be honest with you. Yeah, if that actually did happen, then, uh, you know, the wing would have been going on. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, the like I said, the wing actually makes it look better, so... And so does the fucking dinner plate splitter for the front end, because that was pretty <coughs> as well. Yeah. Can you do a sure Juice 2 walkthrough? Um, eventually, yeah. I need to play the first Juice first, though. Jajaro did not fucking have a good run now. Oh, yes. Yeah, Jajaro designed some weird. It's too. Ludo! Hello, Ludo. Ludo, you've picked your time. Well, not hello, only did Jajaro design the. Did, not only did, the, did Jajaro design the fucking Polonaise, he designed the Yugo as well. <laughs> Why did I just choose my time? I mean? Because we're driving the ugliest car in this game. The Sparta. The Sparta Crontavonia. It, it's a truly tragic looking car. It's also brown. It, 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 it's, it, it's something. It also what the a, fuck? Yeah. Why, why, why does it look like a, a split in a Corvette that, that got uh, some kind of uh, physical problem? Ironically, That's it is actually based on a Corvette. That's because underneath it is a Corvette. Yeah, it is a Corvette underneath. It's also Spanish. <laughs> Okay, I, I mean, yeah, that's pretty at all. It's fun. It's funny. Also, we checked the rear wing. 
Oh. It has it one. It's really weird. Really bad what, what is O full? It, basically what they do oh. is they mount it on like the two flat bits of the design and it raises slightly above the rear hatch. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> it it's a weird looking... It, it's also elusive. Yeah. But yeah, I can't remember what the name is. It, it's, it's the Sparta Codratonica or something like that? Contravana? Yeah. I also like how it looks like it has active aero on this like rear hatch bit. I've got no idea what that's for. I mean, to be fair, I will say, as much as it is the ugliest thing in the entire world, if you saw on the road, you would be like, what is that? Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Have Real I Racing mean... 3 has the Sparta? Oh, Jesus. Uh. I think Sparta okay. did actually keep working on this car afterwards. I think they made, like, a bunch of different versions of it and shit. For was I had the spot of it and had the HTT before it. Mm. Oh yeah, back when Forza used to have the weird boutique sport supercars. And there was this, there was the Gumpert. Remember the Gumpert? Did you say? Oh yeah, the Viceman. I like that thing. I like the Viceman. I also like the Gumpert. Oh. The Gumpert. Ironically enough, I know everyone says the Gumpert's ugly. I actually like the way the Gumpert looked. Gumpert looks alright. <laughs> I like the Gumpet Enraged that they had in Horizon as well. I like, I like the, I like the Gumper because it was a name. It's called the Gumpet. <laughs> Gumpet. The worst bit is it's called Apollo afterwards, and Apollo is a good name for a car, but Gumpet is a stupid name. Gumpet sounds like something you call a dog you hated. Yeah. Wait, well, that that's the name of the German person that that made the company. Yeah, his last name's Gumpet. Yeah. I mean, it's German. I mean, to be fair, I was watching, because, like, people watch it in this house, the fucking Sky Sports News, and there was a guy on there the other day called Jürgen Klopp, so... <laughs> <laughs> which is a great name. And there was... And there's a guy, and there's the fucking Dutch guy uh, called Donk Revolt. Oh, yeah, fucking Donk The Donk Yeah. The Donk... The Donk Revolt G... What is it? D8 GTO. Yeah. Yeah, and we can Gumper should get together and make a track car. Uh, I, mean, I mean, you say the that the Donker Vault. But <laughs> I, 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 think, I think the Donker Vault actually did a pretty damn fast slap in the Nürburgring. Yeah, it's, it's, fast. it's basically a five cylinder Audi powered catering, so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually a monster. <laughs> they need to add the Mustang RTR and the X Assist to Horizon 4. What's the X Assist? Uh, it's basically a 1,000 horsepower Camaro. Oh. So I mean, Horizon 1 had the Shelby a Chevy. Oh, so. his thing. It's a Chevy Camaro yeah. that's got pretty much stock everything except for the engine which was tuned by Hennessy. Oh, is so, it? Oh, no, never mind. I thought the Exorcist was that thing yeah. from uh, Fast and Furious 4, that Hang like 1500 horsepower the, thing. Yeah, the the no. Exorcist was just a answer to Dodge's demon. What you really need is we need um, fucking that car Bill Goldberg owns. What? Basically, back in when the Vietnam War was happening, people were coming home, spending money on muscle cars, and dying. So what they did is they sent over to Vietnam a 1200 horsepower Ford Mustang and basically said if you can drive this you can have a muscle car when you go home. <laughs> they built like two of them I think. And Bill Goldberg has one of them. Because Goldberg's the best. Goldberg! Goldberg's great. Have you seen his car collection in Scotia? No. He basically just owns all the muscle cars in the world. <laughs> I lost my appetite to do videos this week. That was a shame. It happens no. occasionally. Fucking Bill Goldberg should do auto kick then. <laughs> What's next? Week. <laughs> him, and, him and Braun Strowman. Oh god. Braun all over the week. Oh, I used yeah. to have a Kia Soul and then I flipped <laughs> and I bought a Ram. <laughs> <laughs> I literally flipped it. Yeah, I like to think, instead of just selling it, he literally just flipped it on its side. I've got to admit, that'd be a great fucking game to play. Can Braun fit in this? Yeah. 
<laughs> she just sat there like, no. Can you imagine Brawl having Doug the Mirror's job? Oh, today I'm gonna fit in the back seats. <laughs> oh, yeah. He just literally rips the seat out. <laughs> <laughs> I fit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we get to level 3 with the Sparta, and we get a 10% discount on Pistons and Compression Upgrades. Hello. Ooh. Hello, my name is Braun <laughs> Strom, and I'm gonna review the Yugo. Rips the fucking car in half by fit. <laughs> <laughs> Maple Valley Full Circuit. John Cena has an amazing car collection. Yeah, the he, John Cena's car collection is pretty great. I still wish on Auto Geek he did, like, his Daytona and shit. Yeah, all or is it a all he did. he has? Yeah, really the only weird thing they did was his own Jeep, so... Ah, oh, bitch! No, he did quite a few of his own cars. Like, it was his well, own Lamborghini. Yeah, he did yeah. quite... He did quite a few cars, but he never did any, like... Classic shit. Old, classic, and... Weird stuff. Which he is weird, because, like, like, half of his cars are actually muscle cars. Like, he owns a Superbird, yeah. he has Challengers and Cudas and shit. But, he had to... Review his like supercar collection because views and one Jeep and his Rolls Royce yeah. and that autobiography Range Rover as well. I was gonna do that video about Asperger's syndrome. It'll still be an interesting thing to see. Get yeah. these wheels. Also, hello GCXC. So <laughs> he, he should have done a video of his for GT. He did. Didn't he? Oh, for actually. You I actually want the, fucking the, the one he sold. Yeah, I think he, he reviewed his, the 2017 Ford GT. He did. Yeah, he, he reviewed yeah. it and fucking sold it. Mm. Yeah. Then Ford, then Ford got mad. I mean, the worst bit is Ford didn't to... really do anything because they were like, "Oh, you can't sell this car because scalpers." It's like, yeah, but in two years' time, when they can sell them, scalpers will also exist. So. <laughs> yeah, but like here's the yeah, thing: if they... you're concerned about scalpers selling the car for a higher value, why don't you yourself just sell it for a higher price? No, the the thing the thing is because it's uh, I think that's because since they didn't sell it to everybody to anyone. Oh well, the... I mean it makes sense. Don't get me wrong, but like yeah, just yeah, do yeah, what yeah, yeah, and Ferrari yeah. and stuff have done and just sort of accept it happens. Yeah, except except for Ferrari, it doesn't it doesn't happen with specific cars? Like you don't see like uh, La Ferrari is going out in the first month or something like that. Mm. That's that was that, that yeah, was. because they only planned the GT to go up like for like one year and then they canned the fucking thing. I have no idea what that says. Yeah. Remember that time Gordon Ramsay went on Top Gear and accidentally okay, revealed uh, there was a new fucking Ferrari coming? I, I had do you want, know what meals whipping around Maple Valley? I can't oh, believe you yeah. The Sparta Contra... Words. Whatever it's called. Codatronica. Yeah. Thing. There's something in... Something in Spanish, something in Spanish. It's the most hideous car ever made. Mm -hmm. And yes, it has Forza era. But this one doesn't. Because we didn't put it on because it makes it look better. Yeah, exactly. Also, where's the foot brake light? I've just realised it. It doesn't have yeah. one, I guess. Yeah, the old, I think the oldest car that I've seen on Auto Geek was the Cobra replica. There was a Cobra replica? Yeah, and the, the thing, the Cobra replica that Noni's review took for a drive. Oh. Uh, fucking Noni's. Brian John, oh the code Thronica. There you go. In the color of liquid shit metallic. Yes. Super so <laughs> 22B is the ugliest car. I disagree. Um, no. Yeah, Brian Johnson has a cool. Who be talking shit about a 22B? Actually, I was reading something about Brian Johnson the other day. It was pretty great. Mm. I was re uh, researching the Bentley SSK for the DLC video. Um, Bentley? It's not a Bentley. Yeah, I know. But I ended up going from the SSK to the Bentley because that was like its rival at the time. And like, basically, Brian Johnson was talking about the Bentley 4 liter. I think he said everything on my, everything on my body went upwards apart from my jaw, which hit the floor, which basically meant 
he got an erection everywhere when he <laughs> saw that car. And he was like, I just need to have it. And that's his daily driver. He drives like a 1930s fucking Bentley 4 litre supercharged thing. I like Ron Johnson now. I respect the man. He was on Top Gear. He, um, fucking... They did, like, a review where it was the Bentley 4 litre versus the fucking Fisker Karma. Remember that thing? Mm -hmm. The what? <laughs> fucking... Do you not remember the Fisker Karma? That, like, weird see... electric petrol thing? Barely. I don't, don't want to see someone daily drive a fucking Model T with a crank start. Oh, God. Oh, there's the crank start and also the fact the fucking front bits don't work. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to see a car with a crank start and someone daily drive it, you haven't seen the fucking thing that exists. What? That Citroen they had on Top Gear, the one from like 1977 that still had a manual oh. crank. Oh! Oh yeah, the one that uh, James May bought. Yeah, the one that uh, was notorious for break. Was it the one that was notorious for breaking people's hands? No, that was a Cadillac, I think, or something. Oh yeah. But no, the Citroen was like a 1977 car, which still had a fucking manual turn crank because France. I mean, France was the same country that let 14-year-olds drive like box cars in the 80s. So. Everyone knows the Sangyon Corando is the ugliest car ever. You clearly have not seen the Sangyon Action. Or Acetone. What is it called? Action. No, okay, I, it was. In, I, I think I found it. 1976 78. Mm hmm. Oh no, Citroen GSA. Start by manual cranking. I mean, maybe. Yeah, there was also the Citroen. I think the one he had was a Mi or something like that. Uh, yeah, M -M -E A don't exist. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was blue. It was had like 33 horsepower and did zero to yeah, 60. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, 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 that's this one. Mm -hmm. and, and they have a quote of Croxon in 1977 French. You could watch it. <laughs> they just have a good laugh on a, on a fucking Clarkson quote. <laughs> in 1977, you couldn't drink the water in France. They have. They, they, they haven't heard of an initial key. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Luna says it, so it's gotta be true. I mean, oh, yeah, the that, MG that's... X Power. Yeah, that thing is a special looking car. Basically, a Mustang. Yeah. Speaking of Rover MT products, they're basically a Mustang. Oh, Rover 75. Yeah. As I found out about the Rover 75 V8 today. £32,000 new. Yeah. Pretty sure you can buy a fucking Infant WRX wage. Again, my favourite thing about the Rover 75 V8 is on paper it makes sense. I, it's a cheap way to make a new car. You get an existing engine, put it in an existing car. The problem is they had to rear-wheel drive swap it, which basically meant the underpan looked completely different to a standard Rover uh, 75. Uh, also, so. also, also for information, it like, the car actually had an ignition key. What? It it had a key. It did have a key. Mm -hmm. But but I guess I guess May didn't have it or they just did that to love the friend. Maybe it was like an option. Yeah. Maybe. No 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 no. It actually had the last the, 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 the last friend. The, 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 the last the last the last French car that didn't have the key was the uh, nine the nine uh, ninety fifty one two CV. But after that they still they still had the crank but they also had the key in case the. Electric mode, the electric starter wasn't rocking <laughs> or your battery. I mean, your the French at least know that their cars don't work. Let me okay. go <laughs> tell my cousin who has a standard Rover 75. Yeah, they put the 4.6 V8 from an SN95 Mustang in a Rover 75 and it sold about 10. They also sold an MG version. So, yeah. Why the fuck did they make a Rover version then? I don't know. Tim's a discount on displacement upgrades by Sparta. How useful. <laughs> Uh, also, also, according to what I read, some guys say that a 1992 <laughs> CV actually has still had a fucking crank. Laguna By the car. way, is, is, 90s. Your, is your cousin that guy that was featured on fucking regular car reviews? Oh. Was that a regular, was that a standard 25? 
I believe so. It was like 19 miles. Also, this is the Code Codatronica. There you go. So is that the only excuse for owning a 75? <laughs> Why would you have a freaking reverse of it? How many? Car. There is one. <laughs> oh, look. You had to jump down. Just to kill Are me. you having fun? Cars are yeah, like with a uh, pair of fucking idiots like, like, who uh, literally think camping in the fucking tower is being advantageous to them when yeah. clearly they're, they're shit. Yeah, welcome to Black Ops 4. Camping, love... camping is always good. I mean, it depends if you're using a like, sniper rifle or something. I'm quite genuinely pleased that the rover doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. What are the others playing? Inferno's playing Black Ops 4. I don't know if anyone else is doing anything else. I'm not. Oh, have you seen. Uh. Have you seen the new video? Yeah. Emil. Which one? Is the 2142 miles in a Yugo? Oh, no, not yet. Is it good? I don't know, I'm just watching it. There you go, Scotian's playing YouTube. I oh boy, it's... <laughs> I had a choice between um, hard, point, uh, hard point or kill confirmed on firing range then. Hard point or kill confirmed on firing range, nice. Yeah, but fortunately they chose uh, kill confirmed. Who keeps burping? I don't think anyone keeps burping, do they? Are you just accidentally listening to Ludo's voice? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing, Ludo. We love you. No, you don't. I do. Love you, babe. Ludo, if we don't love you, fucking prove it. Uh... <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Bad on the ashes. <laughs> right. Why I'm are you bully Ludo? Camp. Because he's French. I'm expecting uh, those fuckers to camp up there this time, so you know what? Oh. I'm going to go battery. And I'm going to equip oh, a... Uh, I was expecting Spitfire with fucking... That rapid fire mod. Wildfire. Wildfire. Nah, 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 nah. I wouldn't be able to get up into the tower, and besides, the recoil would be too much. That's why you hit fire that shit. Nah, 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 nah. I'm using battery with uh, equipment charge and the GKS with grip too. Oh god, yeah, the GKS. <laughs> I think the fucking with grip too. Yeah, literally the. Uh, Mini ICR seven with uh, mm -hmm. slightly more ammo. Slightly. Yeah. Oh yeah, it has a bigger mag, doesn't it? Yeah. But it's only like an extra eight bullets. I find the GPS for me has SWAT syndrome, where some games it'll be really good, and then other games it feels like it takes fifteen mm. years to kill someone. Yeah. Then again, I just sort of got the SWAT to Dark Matter and gave up on it, so... The Daemon's pretty good. Or Demon, or whatever it is. Have you leveled up that operation yet, by the way? What? The, um... Have you got, like, full operation on that one that gives you the SWAT? No, I'm about. I've literally just hit uh, Operation Level 90, so I've got another 10 fucking levels to mm. get the SWAT. How long is that? It expires quicker on BS4, doesn't it? Yeah. Cause you get yeah, because we get, you get it one shit. week early. Yeah. yeah. Does anyone play Rainbow Six Siege? I don't. Wings of Redemption does. Or used to. Before Wings of Redemption bought a Mustang and Black Ops 4. Even though he said he'd only stream Black Ops 4 if he got paid $2,500, but he bought it recently, so oops. 
I think the Wings of Redemption finally figured out he's not getting paid twenty five hundred dollars. No one cares about him that much. Poor Wings of Redemption. The Code of Tronica's interior looks like shit. Yeah, it's not great, is it? I do like it as the same digital gauge that like every car has. Beer for a shit. I disagree. I like the game a lot. Yeah. It's probably my favourite COD games in Black Ops 2. I don't like game. Which is saying something because Black Ops 2 is the shit. Yes. Nope. It's the best one. Black Ops 1 is. Yeah, even if yeah, it's yeah, Black, hard, o uh, Black Ops 1's very good, but like Black Ops 1's more imbalanced. So. Yeah. Whereas Black Ops 2 is, uh, you know, the shit because, you know. Well, these days it is literal shit because fucking everyone who plays this hack and Yeah. Which is a shame. Okay, why are you trying to. Treyarch actually know what they're doing when they make games, which is nice. Like, Black Ops 4 is very good. World War 2 was like, okay, it's just kind of boring. <laughs> um, what was before World War 2? Oh, Infinite Warfare. <laughs> it, it's so, so amazing you forgot it existed. <laughs> yeah, it's edgy Halo, basically. Modern Warfare Remastered was pretty fun. Um, I mean, I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, isn't isn't Modern Warfare Remastered the only reason they sold actually Infinite Warfare? Yeah, copies? the only problem is Modern Warfare. Oh my Modern God, Warfare Remastered really is available as its own game, game now and features supply drops and DLC weapons. So, oops. Because of yeah. course. They also recharged <laughs> for the fucking variety map pack. They also charge more for yeah. it. Mm -hmm. uh, they charge more for it, but it yeah. came with 10 supply drops. Wow! Yeah, well, there's the thing. Um, Ant's Vision may actually be uh, scrapping the uh, season passes with Black Ops 4. Yeah, because Black Ops 4's Black been doing shit with the season pass because they've literally released two maps in 100 days. Oh, that, that, that's fucking great. Mm. Modern Warfare well 3 is the well best one. Modern Warfare 3 had a very good story mode, but the multiplayer was a bit eh. I had fun with it though, because I played it with friends, like, all the time. Modern Warfare 3 was cool. You could see a little girl die in London. Oh, yeah. Just... Oh. Well, you can't see that in Britain, but... What, really? Uh, they can't show the body, because it's, a, uh, it's an illegal thing to show kids dying in media in this, in this country. Yeah. Like in any media, a kid can't die. Well, they can die, but they have to die like off camera. Yeah. You can imply it, but you can't show it. So. We all know <laughs> the best the COD four on the DS is the best COD game. Fucking hell. Yes, Daniel, you're correct. I didn't even realize they made a DS version of it. Yeah, they did, and it was shit. Xbox Live on Nintendo Switch, hardly surprising. I mean, John, John, no thing though. What? DS version of COD 4, the only Call of Duty game I've ever actually fucking played. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you... Bugatti Circuit finishes us off. I didn't buy it, I downloaded it onto a flash card when I was a kid. Yeah. Oh yeah, Why? fucking... Uh, what were those cards called? <laughs> R4, R4 cards? Yeah, they're all fours. They are <laughs> fucking legit. Talking about that, I need to bring a new another 3DS one day. Mine is dead. I haven't. I never had a Nintendo I'm DS. Really I had a Game Boy Advance off. SP. I backed the correct horse naturally. I'm really pissing off guys that are trying to. <laughs> <laughs> trying to fortify. The fuck is mum? Yeah, they're trying to. They're trying to fucking camp up here yeah, in this hour. Every, every time they go up here, I just even kill them. Or, uh, you know, they just jump out as soon as they see me. Just had a crash trying to rocket launch at me twice. Nice. Oh no, it's, it's because. And he failed to hit me. How long is the stream gonna be? Um, I'm not too sure. I have three events that I wanted to get done, and well, this is the last race of the two event, of event two, so basically there's one more that I wanna get done today, and then everything else afterwards is a bonus, so. 
That's not how happy today. endings work, agreed. Did they shrug too late? No. no. I'm gonna get a galaxy bar after this, but other than that. Ooh. And then we've got the Class B World Championship, and like I said, anything after that's basically a bonus, so. Oh god, no, no, get down. Because we're gonna move on to the Tour Series, which is the Asian, Euro, and American Tour, and we'll start with Asian first. Which is the weirdest formatted thing in the world. Because half of <laughs> it's pre 2000, some of it's pre 2003 for whatever reason. Neil. Mm. I want I want to do uh, lemons lemons rally in a, in a Morris. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> we should host. You should host that uh, Horizon yeah. Four fucking lemons race. Oh no, they got me. <laughs> I can drive my Hillman Imp. Because <laughs> I love that car. Dairy is better I than Galaxy. Disagree. I, I need to drive it at some point. Unrelated, but... I found Subaru and made an inflector called the Gravel Express. Oh yeah, the Gravel Express is a great car. I love the name. It's basically a WRX underneath as well. Yeah. There was also the Subaru but... Outback Sport, which was an Impreza with two tones, so... Yeah. Which looks fun. Oh, by the way, I saw uh, the oh. most ideal Forester in the world for sale the other day. Oh, what? Um, what is it? It was uh, a Forester XETN, whatever thing. So it had mm. the 2.5 turbo. And it was green yeah. and cream two tone. Oh. With cream leather and an auto. And I was like, I want that in my life. Actually, I think it was a manual. Alright, catch you later. Later. When, when, later, then when do you get it? The manual's like 5 seconds to 60, so... Get it! Get it! No, you I've got a car now. Yeah, but get it too, you have to, You will have two cars. No! Sell your, sell your soul to Saturn if you need to get it. Saturn? I mean, hey yeah. Saturn, I know you've died in 2009, but have my soul. Um. <laughs> Why did you die in 2009? Because no one was buying it. Would you love, love yeah, the because, TV, uh, TV you know, Tina? I don't know what TV or Tina is. Yeah, Saturn was basically like the Japanese car company that just so happened to be American and made by GM. It was weird. <laughs> but yeah, the fucking... The Imp is cool. This track it exists. Yeah. People don't like the VA circuit, I'm finding this out. I'm not the only one. Not amazing. No. No, Daniel, this truck doesn't exist. That's just a figment of your imagination. Well, it does exist. We're driving around it. No. <laughs> but yeah, fucking... What were we on about? Yeah, the, the, the Forester is a cool car. I'd have one. It is. I don't want. The only problem is I can't have an automatic Forester, which is sad. Because I refuse to drive around in a car that has a four speed auto. Like five speed or no speed, you know what I'm saying? I still like it, I've never managed to buy a car that has a six speed. I've had. <laughs> I've had four cars at this point and they've all been five speed. <laughs> Get a six speed, no? Three. No. I've had three. 5 speed manuals and 1 5 speed automatic. Get the 6. I can't get the 6. Why? Because I don't even think the later. Actually, the later records might have been 6 speed. <laughs> if I got a Lexus GS300, I'd have a 6 speed. Ooh. Six, 6 speed is fun. Problem nah. is, if I want a Lexus GS at this point, I want a 450H hey, and they will see me too. I, so. I, I had a 6 speed. I mean, I, I had a 5th, a 5th speed. Six speed and no back to a fifth. Because you had a Megan. Yeah, yeah, the, the Megan was actually six. Yeah, but it, 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 was, it was actually decent, what it was. Yeah, it was only because it was the higher spec Megan and you bought the lower spec C4, no. that's why you've got a five speed. No, it wasn't the higher spec Megan, there was actually. Yeah, I know, but it had the I, biggest diesel in you, other than the. No, GT. no, 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 no. No, it actually, it actually had. I mean, there was a 140 diesel with the oh, same engine. And I think they had a 150. Yeah, that was in the Megan GT. 
rare sport thing. Yeah, I mean, and I didn't, I didn't get also the lower C4. How is the C4 anyway? Uh, it's good. It, it just sluggish as fuck, but it's good. <laughs> uh, at least it's comfortable. It, it has space inside it. That's good enough for me. I mean, th that's that's uh, that's uh, to be honest. The only reason I actually went let let went down to a 90 HP diesel is was because b big enough for me and uh, with shit in it, basically. You should have bought a Berlingo. No, fuck that. Should have bought a Berlingo. No. A Berlingo does yeah. have a lot of space. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's shite. I mean, I still wanted something that looked like a car, you know? And you bought that. You could have got a perfect hey. partner teepee. No, fuck that. Hey, I, I don't want a fucking shitty minivan. Why yeah, you do. No. Why didn't you buy a multiplier? Fuck you. Multiple's I'm great. not you. Multiple would probably outtrack us at C4, ironically. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, you, you know that I, that I almost bought a fucking Renault Clio for, but yeah. I was like, that car is. Shit. I have never let you hear the end of that. I mean, I was like, is it, is it a petrol? Yes. How much HP? Seventy-five. Nope. <laughs> yeah. That was basically it. This was like, I mean, if I got one, it was like it's ninety HP or no, or, or nothing. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you what the spa the Sparta comes to an end. Oh, Yay! May Yay! we never see its hide hideousness <laughs> ever again. And we get 27,900 credits, and I spent 400 grand on this car, so we don't have that much money. As a reminder to myself, I spent money on this piece of shit. Uh, Anyways, uh, thank you all very much uh, for watching. Uh, Next time, yeah. we are going to jump away from Semi Pro for one episode, jump to the Championships, and do the Class B World Championships. Join us for that. Ooh. Until then, farewell.